sit there. She wanted some lights and stuff like that. You know, you can have the same thing that was said before. You can sit there, you know, yeah. Uh, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Norwegian Star. My name is Super Elliot. Thank you so much for coming over for the very uh, short but informative talk about using your digital camera, ladies and gentlemen. And I came all the way from Dallas, Texas as well. Anybody from Texas? Yeehaw! Everybody, where's your horses? All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I came from the photo gallery, of course. I'm one of the staff in the photo gallery, and I'm here to give you a little, this, a little bit of this and that about using your small digital camera that came from Best Buy and from Walmart, wherever that uh, um, camera came from, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving you, I'm giving you information about using your cameras, okay, and a little bit of information about the megapixels and stuff like that. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're gonna start first from your camera, the the megapixels camera. If you're still using the 3.1 megapixels, I can suggest that you need to upgrade your camera. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, because you cannot expect the same quality functions and settings on your camera like the other cameras doing, okay? So, I'm gonna start with the megapixels first. If you have this little camera, bring it up, turn it on, and let's start rocking and rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so turn it on, and you once you turn it on, you can actually hear the ping, and you can actually see the LCD right away. All right, this is your LCD, the little monitor over there. You can see it, right? Okay, is your LCD is on right now? Is it? All right, if your LCD is not on, it means you, you did not turn it on the LCD, so you need to turn it on. Together with me is my partner in crime, Jenkins, he's gonna go around. If you wanna raise your hands, where is that? Functions and set, uh, settings located are. Okay, so now, I'm talking earlier about the megapixels. The very first uh, camera digital that came out in the market is the 3.1 or lower than that, or maybe those 2.1 megapixels, those little tiny little cameras that was first time released in the market, okay? If you have that, then it's time for you again to upgrade your camera so you're gonna get a better quality, nice resolutions, megapixels and stuff like that. Let's talk about megapixels. Our camera goes with megapixels, ladies and gentlemen. If you have the 3.1 megapixels, you're gonna have a lower resolution if you wanna blow them up into eight by 10 or poster size of pictures. If you wanna uh, print them into like four by six photos or little, little prints, it's okay for you to have that. But if you're planning to blow them up into a nice canvas, it's not a good quality, okay? If you have the higher uh, megapixels, you're gonna get a better pixels, okay? That pixels is that small little box, like in Mona Lisa painting that you're gonna go closer, you can see little boxes, and then you can see a little face in there. <laughs> That's the pixel, the little box that, uh, that goes with it. So if you have lower megapixels, then you get pixelated once you blow them up. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, once again, our cameras has different settings and functions. We have to know where is that located at. Now, as what I'm telling you earlier, you turn on your camera right now, and you see on the right hand of your camera, it says what? Ladies and nothing, yeah? Automatic, thank you so much, yes. If you're just using automatic all the time, it's better for you to buy a throwaway camera because it's gonna be the same quality for using that automatic all the time. All right, so you're not gonna get quality nice pictures if you're gonna keep on using the automatic. That is the reason why there is a friendly user um, digital camera nowadays, but you have to know the proper settings, okay? There are three different kinds of settings, important settings that we need to know this cruise. We have a sunny, very sunny uh, ambience outside right now. It's, uh, it's a really, really good cruise this week for you. You are very lucky because we are always gray, rainy, and foggy all the time. So right now it's sunny, it's time for you to take nice photos, ladies and gentlemen. What are these three important settings, ladies and gentlemen, okay? First, we have to use the indoor or the nighttime. Where is that located at? Second, we have to use the outdoor or the landscape. Where is that located at? Some of you knows that already, but some of you doesn't know how to set them. 
third important setting is the sports. Where is that located at? And much more inside your camera, ladies and gentlemen. And did you know that also the latest cameras right now, there is a built-in recovery. Okay, if you have the latest, latest camera, you can actually recover your, your picture that you accidentally deleted. Okay, if you have that latest camera, ladies and gentlemen. Now, once again, okay. First, we're gonna start into a indoor camera, a indoor settings, okay? All right, indoor settings, ladies and gentlemen. Where is that located at? Okay, you're gonna go to SCN right now. If it's Canon user, it goes with the button on the top. It says SCN. Okay, hit that one and then automatically you will see on your screen those little icons. The little icons that uh, it says the head, the head of a man with a moon behind you, the buildings with a moon behind, the, the mountains, the snow, everything is in there, okay? So there, ladies and gentlemen, that is the settings, the modules, or the uh, uh, your desired uh, shoot, shooting mode, okay? All right, now ladies and gentlemen, hit that one. You will see that one over there. Or if, if you cannot find it, if you're not a Canon user, you use the Fuji or the some other uh, some other company names like uh, Kodak. It goes actually those little buttons on the side, on the right side or left side. This round button that goes with arrow, up and down, scrolling thing that you have to press up and down, and then the, on the right side you will see the thunder sign that is like that. All right, that's your flash, ladies and gentlemen. So you can actually in the middle, there's a menu over there. All right, you hit that one, you can actually press that one and go to SCN or shooting mode. Okay, the shooting mode is right there, exactly. And then press that, there's an okay in the middle. Okay, okay on the middle, press that one, but before pressing the okay in the middle, you have to select the desired shooting mode first. Once again, those three important settings is the important settings that we just need to use inside, outdoor, and while you're on the train or helicopter, okay? So now ladies and gentlemen, start on the, the heating the, um, the, uh, night portrait or the inside all right or the night scene ladies and gentlemen press that one hit that one and said okay now once you change your settings into a night portrait the iso and all other settings will actually be set automatically you don't need to do what whatever we do in our slr camera the professional camera that we always need to change our settings that one designed for you guys to just hit that button and then all the settings will automatically change, okay? That's why it's friendly user and easy to use, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, once you hit that one, if you cannot find it, just raise your, ha raise your hand, Jenkins will go to you and he will teach you where is that located at, okay, that settings. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, once you hit that, okay, you're on the right track, you take a picture right now. Okay, taking a picture of a subject with a person. You can actually get a person and a, per and a background behind you bright and clear, ladies and gentlemen, if you're gonna use that, um, that night scene. If you're gonna use automatic, try it in the atrium right now. You have this very, very nice,